I've got a bit of an issue here. Uh, just the other day, milled up this nice 8 inch by 12 inch beam that we're going to use to move the cabin. And when doing it, I noticed this. Somewhere 3 eighths or so of an inch gap. There's a gap there between this bed rail and the log. And then down there, those are all in contact all the way down. So, uh, what I have is this intersection here of rail is kinked up. So it's making up and up. That's a horrible, horrible visual. But, uh, so better yet, from this end to here is a rise in pitch. So this side is higher than that side. And then it's flat. So I think that I need to loosen up this section here a little bit on the connections to allow it to sag and try to re-level the bed before I continue on because having one side of my post being a quarter inch off in diameter to the remainder is just really not going to work out for me. So uh, it's called physics and it works pretty much every time. So uh, yeah I'm going to go ahead and get this log off of the bed using the bobcat and I'm going to move the saw head up to the front. I'm going to get some tools, loosen up that connection, and spend a little bit of time re-leveling the entire bed all equal to one reference point, and then I should be good to go. So I'm going to go do that. Great news. I was able to get this all nice and leveled out. It took a bit more work than I thought, uh, but that side was like super low actually, and this side was high, but that, whatever. Uh, it's nice and flat now, as you can see. It is nice and flat, so I have, or on the bed, so all the way down. Uh, I've got uniform thickness here, so these are all about six inch by six inches what I was going for and it's uh, five and seven eighths all the way down all four sides uh, I haven't checked for square but that's going to be more uh, me learning how to do that on a saw bed um, I've got some ideas from other folks on Instagram and YouTube so so at the end of this week I got the field cleaned up I got this stack of logs moved over and kind of separated by size and uh, species so that's all going to be uh, house timbers frame pieces uh, I got another piece on the mill for probably cribbing uh, but I probably won't get to that this week and we're going camping this weekend so a little bit of family fun time and uh, then we'll come back to working on the property I cleaned up chunked all the offcuts from the mill already that pile grows way faster than I was expecting 
uh, chewing through my stash of silver maple that I pulled off my father-in-law's property and the stack of timber is growing so all of this stuff is uh, probably not going to be used in the house uh, this is all silver maple and some ash logs um, this is all going to be used for cribbing and posts to move that cabin I keep talking about hopefully we can get to that uh, in two weeks the deer flies are officially out so the next few weeks are going to be fun. If you've never experienced deer flies, you're lucky. And uh, my distraction for the week was uh, playing on the brush hog out here uh, and figuring out where my storage area is gonna be for the posts and beams for the house. So in here, nice little shaded area, it stays nice and cool. Uh, so down there is going to be where I store everything. I've still got to clear out a bunch of stuff and make access from the field. Um, but uh, I ended up making a few little trails just to see what was back here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. This is all a lot of poison ivy. So more, more brush hogging and clearing, certainly. Uh, probably spraying for the poison ivy and just kind of kill everything dead and then we'll keep it low and that should should keep the poison ivy at bay so that was everything for this week uh, next week not going to be a whole lot just some camping maybe a quick little video about the family fun from there if anything um, and then the following week uh, we'll be back here hitting it hard so uh, until then thanks for following along we'll see you next time